Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel, Gail and Gary USVI. Um, we are here with Daddy visiting the cardiologist. Um, so the last time we were here was in July. So we're just having a follow up to see how he's doing and to see what's next. <laughs> so we're just here waiting in the room. They see they've already come in and done the first part where the assistant goes through all the meds and did she take pressure? Yeah. Yeah, it was 136 over 68. Okay, so did his pressure and temperature and all that. So we're just waiting. Yeah. Yeah. Oof. I feel like I could just soak in like a hot tub. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You feel Gail saying that she feels like she could soak in a hot tub. We've been working really hard. Guys, this is the fourth quarter of the year and our business, the Tart Lady. Um it's one of our busiest it's the busiest time for us. So we have been working very hard um to make sure that we're prepared for um the uh November November fourteenth and fifteenth we'll have to ship out tarts all throughout the United States. So that's a lot of preparation work um so we are getting that together but we will be successful we've been doing pretty well with that yeah yeah this is what it seems like when did we start 2000 maybe 16 probably was like the first year we shipped out okay so, let me i'm gonna turn so gail could speak to you guys so i think we started well we started a business we got the license in 2015 but we actually started like in 2016 yeah so that's how much years for that's eight years yeah it's been a long time so eight years it did go fast yeah. and we have seen it grow mm -hmm. and grow and just it's really mm -hmm. um a blessing to be able to do it because you know gail gets to be what we're calling a cultural bearer for the U.S. Virgin Islands. So we get to, um, uh, you know, be a part of letting the world know about our, one of our favorite baked goods that is known throughout the U.S. Virgin Islands and the, beef and the British Virgin Islands. So we are definitely so proud to be doing that um, and getting it into the hands of people throughout the United States. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. And you know, I had a, a um, lady text me today and she thanked me because she sent some mini tarts to someone overseas mm -hmm. and they were in Korea. And mm -hmm. that thing took forever. It took at least, I would say nine, that nine days, uh -huh. eight, 10 days to get there. And she said they were fine and all the soldiers that he shared them with want to order. Cool. Oh. Yeah, so I was so happy to hear that. Because it travels mm -hmm. such a far place, you know, sometimes mm -hmm. like, oh my gosh, yeah, you know, but mm -hmm. I haven't had an issue. For all these years, I've been shipping it to overseas, mm -hmm. like to the military. Mm -hmm. They've always gotten their stuff. Yeah. And oh. they've always been, they're fresh, they taste good, like they're not stale. Oh, so that's, that's a good great. testament to our product. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So guys, what she's saying is, she's not saying that we ship overseas to regular um, addresses. No. Yeah, to military. Explain. So we offer shipments of the Tart Lady products to military, people who are in the military overseas. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to ship tarts or, you know, cake or anything um, that we have, to the military overseas, you can do that because they actually charge the same shipping that you would charge in the United States. So it's reasonable to send it. Mm -hmm. And they always get their their boxes. Mm -hmm. We've never had an issue. And they get there in enough time that they're safe to consume and they taste fresh still. That's good. So yeah. You've had you have pretty good feedback I've on that. Always had good pump positive feedback yeah. i've had mm -hmm. people repeat customers also send to their loved ones 
multiple times too. Yeah. So I just ask that whenever I do ship them, I only ship them really during the cooler months because that's another, yeah. It mm -hmm. takes so long to get there. I mm -hmm. rather ship during the cooler months. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, some people insist on sending them anyway, but I try to. <laughs> yeah. 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 Because I know it's going to, I tell them it takes at least nine to 10 days mm -hmm. for it to get to its destination. So, you know, if it's hot, you know, that might not be a That is a yet. factor. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So that shows you the quality of the product and the ingredients and how it's put together. It's, it sustains. So, yeah, we're pretty proud of it. Yeah. And, um, yeah, we just hope that it continues to grow. Yeah. I think it will. Mm -hmm. I think people still love their tarts during the holidays, mm -hmm. especially. And, yeah. There are a lot of people selling tarts, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They have a lot of options, but... I like that. I like yeah. that, that it's getting um, out there that this baked good that is so popular in the U.S. Virgin Islands and the British Virgin Islands. It's actually like a first choice of many people when they go out. That's pretty much the dessert that they want. Um, and now to have it available in the United States is amazing. Uh, we want it to be something that you would want to always have at every event, not just during the holidays, uh, but you know so yeah we're making it available to everyone so you it wants you guys um watch this finish watching this video we also have a, a play uh, in our playlist we have a, a i guess a category of folder called the tart lady so you could just go and look at the tart lady videos so we upload videos from time to time there and we'll be probably uploading some videos as we get heavily into um producing the tarts, putting the tarts together and mailing. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Daddy, what's your favorite tart? Um, pineapple. Pineapple, okay. Oh, like me. Hmm. <laughs> I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. I never knew that. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I never thought that there was pineapple for you. Oh yeah. So, what's your uh, second uh, favorite? Uh, coconut. Okay. Mm. And then guava. And then guava. So it's guava. <coughs> no, actually, I think his favorite is it's the one. Guava berry. It's actually guava berry. I was just going to oh. ask him if you oh, put guava yeah. berry in the mix, which oh, one is the favorite? Guava berry is very <laughs> tart. I think guava berry is his favorite tart. And I really mm. believe that guava berry could possibly be all of our favorite tarts. Yeah, I think so. Um, I love my coconut. Yeah. I think it is, but it's so rare. Yeah. So yeah. guava berry is a specialty fruit, um, a fruit that is very rare. Uh, how should I say? It's a challenge to find it. To find it. Um, in the Virgin Islands. To get them. To get them. Yes. And so with that. It is, it's, you barely could see them. But I could tell you, if we were able to get lots and lots of guava berries, we would have guava berry tarts and mm -hmm. they would probably be the top seller. Yeah, especially during this time of the year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Sounds like our doctor is on his way in. He may or may not be kind of listening at the door. It's closed, but we could hear them outside talking. <laughs> yeah, so just to finish up with the tart lady. So um, you can, if you're interested in trying something new, something good, um, you could go visit our website at www.thetartlady.com. I'll put that on the screen so you, that you could see it. Um, and support us. Yes. And if you're interested in knowing what a guava berry is, you can, I have a coloring book I, that <laughs> <laughs> is um, Tropical Fruits of the Caribbean. And that coloring book is available on amazon.com. I also have a, um, 
actually, I think I might have in a play, our playlist for, yes, I do have a playlist mm -hmm. for. You uh, can share the link there too. You know, yeah, you I could do that. Click on a link I could put the, the Amazon link. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so we're doing quite a few different things. One of these days, Gail and I will talk to you guys about why, what, all these entrepreneurial <laughs> things that we're doing and how we made a choice to move from working a eight to five or nine to five job to be entrepreneurs because we went to school for different things and we worked in those professions and it was rewarding but we also had a desire to do entrepreneurial things so we're doing that so we'll talk to you guys about that more and more <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah okay so we'll come back um hopefully we'll come back when he is in here um if he is okay with us videoing um we'll bring you guys in all right Jackson, how you doing? Yeah, I'm doing good. How are you? Good to see you. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, good, good. good. So, we, we like to film him, and we know we don't, you know, we don't, you may not want to be in there, so. Sweet. So, well, listen, it's good to see you. This is the first time we've talked, I think, since the implant, right? The cardio mems? I think you were here in July. It was after that. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't think I saw him after because he was just getting set for it. It was done like a week after I saw him. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh. I, she pulled all the numbers for me okay. for the last week. Okay. Now, the reason you don't get phone calls from us about it is because the numbers are, are normal. Oh, good. Usually mm -hmm. only if they go out of whack mm -hmm. do okay. we call, right? Okay. Otherwise, okay. we call mm -hmm. you every single day and you don't want to hear me from me every day. <laughs> so his numbers look awesome. Oh, good. Oh, so good. I just have the last 10 days pulled, mm -hmm. and his goal is less than 15 for the pressure. Okay. That's under 15, and he was 9, 6, 11, 10, 8, 5, 5, 8. Mm -hmm. ah. So looking good. Wow, well there was below. only one 11. Yeah, 11 was uh, the highest, but that's still less yeah. than 15, right? Perfect. So um, so his numbers have looked really good. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you have had no concerns about fluid and because the pressure is a reflection of fluid gotcha uh -huh. so as fluid goes up pressure builds mm -hmm. and then that's when the symptoms start and the risk of hospitalizations and right so um so this looks good and it says that you've been a hundred percent compliant meaning you do it every day yes yeah there's no hiding we know who does it and who doesn't <laughs> well he makes sure that we don't forget like yeah. that is right on it yeah you've got it figured out okay you understand how to do it and yeah. all with the wand it's a little finicky sometimes mm -hmm. yeah, when you sometimes. get the right position and all yeah yeah but, yeah. Uh, uh -huh. but yeah that's great so i'm glad we did that and that is designed to reduce the risk of hospitalizations for fluid, fluid right now mm -hmm. you haven't had a hospitalization for that in over a year it's been right. almost two years i think now yeah but this uh -huh. is the idea is that you never go back to the hospital ever again for this okay. now it doesn't keep you out for pneumonia or gi <laughs> bleed or stroke or anything else that we never want but mm -hmm. for the heart which is the number one reason people over 65 go to the hospital mm -hmm. for fluid it reduces that awesome. okay okay mm -hmm. the cardio so, mems yes, yes that's right the cardio yeah, mems that expensive yep. device <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> it wasn't free I know. insurance yeah. yeah well we wouldn't okay. have it <laughs> no we do all that up front you know yeah, to, yeah, to yeah. make sure we don't want you getting a bill afterwards so. <laughs> uh, yeah. but yeah. Uh, what, what's going on overall any issues that have come up so he went to see his kidney doctor yes, um, yes. and she was supposed to touch bases with you I don't know if she did but she was concerned about she was thinking maybe he could have been drying out too much i mean the numbers are low uh -huh. that being said they are low yeah we have some flexibility which we can adjust okay and maybe come down on the diuretics a bit if that's, she's worried about that she would that's what she said uh but she said she was gonna call you too but who is the kidney ready churla sure sure i can send her a message yeah because his kidney function did worsen. Um, I saw that. Yes. Yeah, so. I did see that. So, um, yeah, no, we can do that. Listen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it did. I see that. Yeah, yeah, it, it has. Oh, that's pretty big yeah. bump there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Bun of 115. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, yep. We're going to make some changes today. Okay. I'm actually surprised she didn't change anything when she saw those labs. Actually, it was drawn by your primary doctor, I think. 
Uh, no, two no, weeks ago. That's yeah. So she, we went to her. At, we went to him after. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. So we haven't seen her. Oh, since it's worse since the last. Uh, that was uh two weeks ago. That's when you oh, did the labs okay. with him. So you had labs with her before that. Yes. September. Yeah, it's it's, it's more notable. Okay. So we're gonna make some changes. Okay. Um, so let's do this. The Bumex is still alternating days, the four milligrams and two milligrams. Four milligrams one day, two the next. Is she taking Bumex? I thought he's wait. Hold on. I have here Bumex still. Actually, four milligrams on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, two milligrams oh, all Oh, Bumex and I, yeah. Yeah, so we're still doing that. Okay. The double dose on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. All right, let's just do this. Let's just do, skip the double dose days. Let's just do two milligrams once a day. Two milligrams. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, less diuretic. Okay. So just make it easy. One pill every day. One pill every One day. Pill what I would probably do though for the first maybe two days, to that tomorrow, and what's tomorrow, Wednesday? Tomorrow and Thursday, mm -hmm. diuretic free day. Oh. No diuretic. We gotta catch back up. This is, I'm sure, is, is he's still a too dry. Okay. Let me see your neck, by the way. And so how does that affect his um stool? His stool. I know if he's dehydrated, he's not gonna be able to poop. Well. Well, he's been complaining about that. He has been. He hasn't gone for three days, so we are yeah, giving him dry him out like a prune here. So. Uh -huh. uh, what I need to do is I need to probably set in the cardio men's a lower limit too. Mm -hmm. Like where if he goes too low, mm -hmm. we can do that as okay. well. We don't usually do that, but I can mm -hmm. do that with him. Okay. So if he drops below that, we're mm -hmm. like, okay, too dry, too yeah, dry. Yeah. Okay. Problem is, when people run their numbers low, a lot of them don't have problems with their kidneys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. They, okay. they don't feel bad at all. But yeah. I suspect for him, it's a little too dry. Yeah. So, so no diuretic tomorrow, no diuretic Thursday, and then starting Friday one. and every day moving forward, one a day. Okay, so for the next two days, diuretic free, no bumex. You're, yeah, you don't have to sit on the toilet. That's okay. just nice. Well, to pee at least. We want you to poop, but uh, yeah. And then Friday, starting Friday, one pill a day. And that's a two milligram. And then what's the worst that happens? He starts to fill up again, but we'll catch it. Okay. okay. I'm not worried about that. Okay. You know, so don't sweat it. Mm. So let me just do that. I'm gonna tell my nurse to change bumex to two mg daily. Yep, that's easy enough. And then we'll have to check and see what his kidneys look like after we do this strategy for a few weeks. Okay. He sees Dr. Reddy Cherla in December, so about yeah. a month from now. That actually would be fine. So we have to do labs for him two weeks prior to that. So that's that like two weeks from now, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's perfect. So it should yeah. that'll work out? Okay. Yeah, I would say at least a week or two on this regimen before okay. we check, which would work for Okay. Him. So okay. Good. okay. And you I'm follow glad. on that? That's not too hard to follow, right? Mm -hmm. We're good there. No. Yeah, right. And I'm yeah. glad that you asked, well, what else? Because, yeah, he's been complaining about not being able to use the restroom. Is he on almost Benicar still, too? The almost Sartan? That's the other one that yes. can kind of aggravate things in the short term. Almost Sartan? Almost yeah. Sartan? He's still taking almost Sartan. Hmm. Mm -hmm. We want to hold that for a few days, too. It's a great drug. Long term, it's the best mm -hmm. thing. But if you get too dry, it can work against you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's hold that for right now too, oh, cool. with the intent that we're going to get back on it when the kidneys settle out. Okay. This is not a stop forever. Okay. Because I like that drug in the long term. Mm -hmm. I okay. think it actually helps your kidneys. Okay. But I think in the short term, uh, and I'll let Ready Chair one out. Okay. Yeah. When we have one physician starting to change meds, the others need to know about it. Yes. And otherwise, yeah. they're going to be a little clueless. So let me let me just text her right now. Thank you. Yeah. So right. how long to hold the Armasartan? Till we get those labs. Yeah. Okay. They, if they if they settle back out nicely, okay. we'll get them back on it. Okay. Yeah. So FYI, creatinine and uh, what's the way to say FYI is kidney function. She should. This should be a reminder to her. She already knows. Yeah. De escalating, escalating, Bumex and holding are briefly. We'll say for a brief period. Labs are with you, I believe, in.
coming two weeks or so. Yeah, the week of Thanksgiving is when we have to do labs. <laughs> okay. All right. Yep. So I just sent her a message. Okay. All right. So that goes to her. And then I'll tell my nurse to hold the Ulmasartan for right now. Mm -hmm. Someone trying to sell me life insurance. <laughs> I've been, been getting a lot of those lately. I'm not sure why I think they I'm know gonna, something. Gonna die or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that or used cars. I don't know what the deal is. <laughs> anyway, um, okay. So, but physically, we feel okay. I mean, we don't feel off at all from baseline, do we? About the same, more or less. We're here. Not, uh, yeah. not lightheaded, mm -hmm. dizzy, feel like you're going to pass out when you stand. Uh, 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 uh. Blood pressure looks a heck of a lot better. Yeah. So yeah, has it come down good. pretty substantially? Uh -huh. Yeah, it, it has. has. Yeah. So that new meta, that uh, that uh, one drug we started, the Cardora, uh -huh. the, uh, that mm -hmm. seems to help pretty good. It didn't give you any dizziness. Mm -hmm. No. Good, because that's the only side effect from that drug is dizziness. Okay. Uh -huh. what's, the name, what's the other name of that drug? Uh, Doxazacin. Okay. With a yeah. D. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's one a day. It's two. I think a two milligram strength or a one milligram okay. strength. One, one milligram. milligram. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so the pressure looks good. And then we did their kidney ultrasound to look for blockages Clogged, in the yeah. kidney arteries. None. None. Right. So he doesn't have any clogged arteries in his kidneys, which right. is a sign of high. It causes high blood pressure. Right. And if he had that, we would have to talk about opening the arteries in his kidneys mm -hmm. with a stent. But mm -hmm. we don't have to do that. Right. That so look good. Right. Mm -hmm. Um. His other thing that he's yeah. dealing with is the cancer. But I mean, the that, prostate cancer, yeah, right? Which has this his numbers has changed. It has elevated. So you know we're gonna be meeting with them next week. Mm -hmm. I see. Or is it this week? Next week. Next week. We just, yeah, it's uh, next week. Um, okay. To see if it goes down or if, if it's you know still climbing up and alter, alternate treatments. But the medication that he's taking with that is causing his sugars to be higher, which is the I diet saw that too, yeah. 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 yeah, I saw that too. So they adjusted, the primary care physician adjusted his um, insulin to five more units a day. So he's okay. taking 45 units daily. Okay. okay. All righty. Yeah. Any other updates or issues? Any chest tightness, pressure, pain? No? He's, mm -hmm. he's pretty even keeled, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> he is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> When he does tell us you know, something, something bad, right? when, well, we recognize it, and then we make sure we get to the right doctor. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but he's not a complainer. Clearly not. So we'll fix this. If, okay. I mean, I, I'm sure this is all. Mm -hmm. I mean, now that I have the cardio mems, I know he's a little dry. Right. The reason I didn't react immediately and say, oh my gosh, you're dry based on these numbers is we see them a lot and people do fine. But his, he clearly did not. Yeah. So, but once again, we have a metric that we can follow okay it's great right yeah mm -hmm. and i'll set a lower limit on it too so okay. i get alerts in the future when if it's too low dry. yeah i mean it's arbitrary i mean okay. he's running like what did i say less than 10 more or less like yeah. eight nine ten yeah. i'll probably set it for like less than eight like okay. at eight less if he drops less than eight okay. i get an alert and it usually has to be a couple days in a row okay at least then i can like it's a chance to call check in right. hey how's he doing mm -hmm. you know right. so that'll be good Okay. Um, and then I sent her the message. She hasn't gotten back to me yet. I sent her a secure chat with the changes that we're making, and that'll be reflected in the chart too. So no Olmosartan for right now. No, no diuretic the next two days. Start one tablet a day thereafter, which would be Friday. Friday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She has encouraged us to become a vegetarian, vegan. Yeah, he's got some dietary indiscretions, right? He likes the likes the uh, salts and the meats and stuff well, like that. No, we made adjustments. Yeah. So he does have get meat once a day, every other day. Okay. Um, but for the most part, he's eating vegan stuff. But it's pro like for instance, the sausage in the morning is a processed sausage. Sure. Beyond meat, be that beyond sausage. Um. Is, is it okay to give him soy milk? Soy milk? Generally okay with that. I mean, there's, I mean, soy is a good it's, source of protein. Okay. I'm not as worried about something like that as opposed to breakfast sausages. I mean, it, but it, this, that sausage doesn't have a lot of salt in it. 
And it's only one he gets. Okay. Gotta give him some of life's simple pleasures, I suppose. But, yeah. Um, you know, his sodium mint content, you know, the daily amount of sodium you take in in a day probably needs to be less than, certainly no more than 2,000 milligrams. Oh, I yeah, mean, you don't get, you don't, you don't think so? I don't think so. Right. It's easy to, easy to, to stack up. But um, <laughs> but he's exquisitely salt sensitive. I mean, hence the gotcha. blood pressure. I mean, I don't think there's anything driving his high blood pressure. We've kind of ruled out all the things yeah. that can drive it, like with the kidney and everything else. But he's just. I, mean, I have a bunch of patients just like him that like they consume a little bit too much salt, and boy, yeah. their pressure just goes yeah. bananas. She wants him to not consume animal protein. Got it. <laughs> I have a question. Yeah. So if she if since she's saying no animal protein, would this be a time to have him have us meet with a dietitian? It's never the wrong idea. The question is, where can you get to one and insurance will cover it? It's usually a, like an out of pocket okay. thing. Okay. I can certainly give you some recommendations, okay. um, and you can look into it if you'd like. There's a dietitian who actually works through the cardiac rehab here, um, and she has a separate business that she runs mm. outside of the hospital. For consultation and purposes mm -hmm. like that, I can give you her information if you're interested. Yeah. Okay. Um, but uh, usually those are like it, I don't. Pretty sure insurance won't cover the consultation. Wow. You can ask, but I'm, I'm almost certain it doesn't. But it's can't hurt to ask, you know, mm -hmm. and find out what the fees might be if the insurance doesn't cover it. Mm -hmm. But no, I think that that's a very important thing. I wish we had more access to that. Mm -hmm. I think it's a big part. We forget in this medication-driven society we live in that. Forget how much lifestyle makes a big deal here. Yeah. You know, modifications mm -hmm. they're in. So, yeah, let me give you that information. I can I can write that down for okay. you. Okay. She actually gives out her cell phone, so I'll give it to you. I'll okay. Give you her name, okay. So. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Right, we got that. We got that. I think we're good. Otherwise, any other questions? I don't have any. Mm -hmm. Dad, uh, do you have any questions? Uh oh. -uh. Yeah. <laughs> Where's mom today? Home. Yeah, I haven't seen her in a while. Is she doing okay? She, yeah, she's fine. We just give her a break from. Yeah, yeah so we're gonna come next does. time. I miss her. <laughs> you miss her. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't like you guys. But... <laughs> <laughs> All right, my friend. It's good yeah. to see you again. It's so sure. yeah, tell her I said hello. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So All right. Um, let me know if you have any questions yes. or concerns. As yes. always, you're very good. Uh, good to see you as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, about yeah. the changes and whatnot. Okay. And um, like I said, I've told her, so she knows. So we're okay. on the same page. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. All right, all right, well, come All right. on out. We'll get you squared away. Good <laughs> okay. to see everybody. Thank you. Careful navigating around this door. You know, yeah. it kind of opens into you. So, okay. okay. Okay, so we've made it home, and here is Mama Bear. Mom, what are you doing? Minding my own business. <laughs> Mom, please. Please what? You don't have to show people how bad you <laughs> oh my God. Well, guys, I guess I got exactly what I did. Okay, well, let me go over to Gail's. <laughs> Guys, you see my mom. <laughs> okay, so Gil, what are you doing? I just cooked something very interesting. Okay, interesting. <laughs> it is chicken stir fry with broccoli and pineapples. Oh. And then you have brown rice. Oh. This is an international cuisine house. And brown rice. Yes. Brown rice cooked for... Okay. So. We've never had it before in this family. Mm -hmm. And but, I just wanted to do something new because that's what I do. Yes. So the only part is the pineapples. Yeah. That's, they don't like that. It's too different, but yeah. they're going to eat it. Okay. So I guess. And they're going to like it. They're going to eat it and they're going to like it. Yes. Mom, you heard that? Like you're going to eat it and you're going to like it. Yeah. I'm going to like it, but I'm going to take it and prepare it for me because I cannot eat it as it appears. Okay. All right. 